Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers, who today are starting John Green and Leroy Williamson up front. Ball John Green just came to check in on the team. Um, you know, he can't officially come to the, the ground, so we came to him. Everybody uh, from the old Swoodly Poopers, Leroy Williamson, uh, other, uh, other John Green, myself, uh, Merrick Merrick was there, One Size Fits Hall, Ginger Rampage. We all had coffee together. It was great. He's doing great. He's having a hell of a season at Barcelona where he is an absolute star. Um, and I'm, we're proud of him, and he's also making 200000 bucks a week. So it's great. I mean, does it sting? Of course it stings, but, you know, that's, uh, that's football. So um, today I'm going to talk about uh, the friend friendships between boys and girls and how they are often romanticized and how there is an assumption that men and women cannot be friends, as you may have heard in the movie When Harry Met Sally, if you were one of the six people who watched The Swoodley Poopers who was over the age of 25. Um... Introduce yourselves in comments, six of you. Just kidding, you don't have YouTube channels. Oh, no! Such bad defense. We've got the gingers in, in central defense again. I tried it out with one size fits all, and it just was not going well. Although, to be fair, it's not going well now either! Everything is fine. Um, so, one of my closest friends is my friend Shannon. We've been friends since college, but we've been really close friends since, since maybe two years after college when my, I, my, the long-term relationship I was in with my college girlfriend was ending and Shannon um, was, like, you know, the person who would come and, like, bring me crackers so that I didn't starve to death lying on the linoleum floor of my refrigerator refrigeratorless one bedroom apartment that I had once shared with this girl who had now left me uh, for another boy that, whom we went to college with it was oh it was messy anyway nice 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 girl married that boy they are very happy he is a really nice guy it all worked out fine but you know at the time it was a stinger um, and Shannon and I became friends then, and uh, our friendship was always hyper, hyper unromantic. Um, I do not think that there is a person in the world that, that is less interested in having sex with me than, than Shannon. And, um, and frankly, I don't think she would be offended if I said ditto. Um, but uh, we are extremely, extremely close friends. Um, you know, she, she's one of the first person to, people to meet Henry. She's... she's I, uh, again, I'm filming this from the past. She's going to be one of the first people to meet um, my kid. She's, you know, we're just extremely close. Like, she's the only person I, I like, go out of my way to visit. Um, and, uh, you know, it's one of those friendships. You, you may have one of these friendships where it's of such high quality that you don't see each other for a while. And then um, you do see each other, and then you just sit on the couch on your laptops together and, like, watch YouTube videos and talk about... Zay Frank, or I remember the last time I was over at her house, we watched Air Bud 2. So it's that kind of friendship. Oh, that had to be a goal, but somehow it wasn't. Um, I'm sorry, Meredith. I know I got upset there. Um, I'm sorry. It hurts Meredith's ears when I, when I get so passionate. But it's not my fault. I love my swoodly poopers. Um, so oh, I hope this isn't going to be another standard swoodly pooper nil-nil draw. Um, right. So, uh, we, um, like, our friendship, people would always be like, why don't you guys date, or, 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 or you are secretly dating, or you're secretly hooking up, because we did live together for, for four years, and, um, you know, it's unusual for uh, straight men and women to live together, I guess, maybe, I don't know, people thought, it, people, some people thought it was weird, my parents never thought it was weird, and Shannon's family never thought it was weird, but, you know, some people, some people would give us a hard time about it, and... Um, but you know, like we were just best friends and, um, and we're still really close friends and it's still not romantic and it's still not something that her partner or my partner would ever think of as problematic. Um, but you know, like S Shannon was one of the very first people to meet Sarah and one of the people I wanted to meet Sarah to be like, is this girl as cool as I think that she is? Um, and you know, it's just... It's a very specific kind of friendship, and you're lucky in your life to have those, those friends, no matter, no matter their sex or their, you know, whether they're the same sexual orientation as you or whatever. 
whatever. Like, you're just lucky in your life to have those friendships. And I don't know why they get so... I mean, I, oh, I do know why they get so sexualized. It's because we worship romantic love over all other forms of love in this culture, um, which uh, many of you will be pointing out in comments. And fairly, I myself have not been... Um, I myself have not done much to destroy this this dangerous lie in my work, which tends to be about romantic relationships, or at least to involve romantic relationships. Um, I did try to write a, a, a story in Will Grayson and Will Grayson. My half of Will Grayson and Will Grayson is in many ways about a friendship that's similar in some ways to the friendship that I have with Shannon, um, although I'm the annoying performative one and she's the cool, relaxed one, um, in that, you know, it's a story about a straight boy and, and a gay boy, but I guess the better analog would be a story about two gay boys who are not um, who are not romantically interested in each other. Um, but Tiny, to be fair, couldn't be less interested in capital W, capital G, Will Grayson um, in Will Grayson, Will Grayson. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have tried to write about it before about how our sort of fascination with romantic love limits us um, culturally. Oh, other John Green, he just. I, I, I don't want to say that he's lost a step in coming over from the, from, the, from the TARDIS, but it seems to me that he can't get the ball off of his foot quite as quickly as he could in FIFA 11. Um, it seems to me like back then he was something of a five in terms of his ability, his, his finishability, for, for, for lack of a better term, and now he's a four. Whereas ball John Green uh, has consist I was not offside! I resent the implication. Ball John Green has consistently been a five. Um, but, of course, it doesn't matter because it doesn't play for us anymore. Um, I've had a lot of friendships over the years with women I wasn't, um, that w where there was no question of, of a romantic relationship or no tension around whether there would be a romantic relationship. Um, and, you know, they've been many of the most, oh boy, fulfilling relationships of my, of my, of my life. Um, what? Oh no! Oh, thank God. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Jose Semedo. I'm, I'm extremely worried about you, but for a minute I thought that you were green eggs and Fodringham, and we do not exactly have depth in, at the goalkeeper position. It's just him and Lovegood Bedwell. So I hope he's all right, but for a second I thought it was. Okay. Thank you for giving us the ball back. That's very sporting. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I, I think because we, we, we worship romantic love and we think it's the only like legitimate, really full, complete way that you can love someone, uh, we end up too often saying, well, that, you know, that love isn't real until it's sexual or until it's romantic. Um, and that's not fair at all. Like, my love for Shannon is completely real, even though it's not, um, you know, it's not, it's not romantic at all. It's still, you know, very, very important to both of us. And um, no, it's just, I hope she doesn't watch this video. It's going to be freaking awkward. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, I don't know. It's just part of it. Yeah. So love can take many different forms. And it doesn't, it, 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 the idea that it's somehow dependent upon romantic attraction is, is really annoying to me. Um, but, I, I, you know, I think we have to, we have to fight against that. And, and that means, a lot of that, I think, means, like, culturally saying, like, you know, you don't, like, even on Tumblr and stuff, like, you don't have to ship this in order to like them. Um, you know, like, you don't... Oh, there's been a substitution. Maybe we need to make a substitution here in the 71st minute. Is this going to be another standard swoodly pooper nil-nil draw? I hope not. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little worried about a judge who has not had the kind of impact on the game that I would have liked to see in general. I'm going to bring in, we call him Bob, but I'm going to move Bostock out to the corner because he's got, he's got some pace. Um, I mean, I might bring on Andy Rooney eventually for Lionel Richie, but I think this is good for now. I think we're where we want to be for now. Okay, we're going to resume the match. Ginger Rampage and Judge are having a conversation. Judge is like, why is Coach taking me off? And I'm like, because you've not played very well, man. It should be kind of obvious. Ginger Rampage is like, I'm angry that we're playing in the championship. I never get to play Manchester United, the team I hate more than anything in the world. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think don't, you know, all, the, the responsibility sort of falls to us as people who have these, these friendships that are important to us to say, like, you know, that this is, a, this is a relationship that really matters to me and isn't romantic, and that's okay. And I'm not, like, 
it's not any less real because it's not romantic. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much what I have to say. Oh, 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 so close to so much joy. Leroy Williamson, oh, gets it down, but not down enough. Wait, what, 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 what? Everybody's just running around with the ball. Oh! Go! Oh, for the love of God! Ginger Rampage, to be fair, not known for his work with his feet. But, oh my goodness gracious, he was open. We can win this game. Meredith, do you feel like this is a winnable one? Okay, she does. She always says that. She's just always trying. She's a big Swede we put her supporter, too, you know. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Everything is fine. I don't know why you guys always freak out whenever the ball's in the box. Um, yeah. Go. There you go. Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie running out of steam, as he often does, because it's not, not that pacey. There we go. Yes. Yes. Not where I wanted to pass. Full of disappointment. I apologize to my friends and everybody who supports the Swoodley Poopers for not being a better manager. Um... Yeah, so that's my basic uh, that's my basic belief about it. I, I don't think that it's. I think I think that it comes out of our relentless fascination with romance, and that um, we need to make we need to make more stuff, more stories that that celebrate other kinds of love, um, whether it's books or movies or whatever. Uh, the problem is that then it's very hard to get audiences for those stories. I mean, there are great there are great stories of friendship in uh, in our literature. Um, they just tend not to. Um, not to have quite as much attention. I think, for instance, of, uh, of Sula by, uh, by Toni Morrison, one of the great uh, friendship novels ever written, um, or even uh, a separate piece, which is an interesting case because it, you know, it was so popular in its day, but I don't think a book like a separate piece... What happened? Oh, the game is over. Nil, nil, draw. Just another nil, nil, draw. Sorry. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.